And when you can trust someone and they share the gospel with you, it makes a huge impact. If you don't know you can trust someone and they tell you to lay down your life and pick up the cross, why would you listen to them? But if you have someone who's trying to tear down your worldview and you know that they love you, then you will engage with them and you will listen to them. So that friendship was absolutely critical in order for me to begin to hear the gospel. So why were you made? Why do you have the passions that you have? Why do you have the gifts that you have, the skills that you have? How do you make it click? You make it click by realizing who God has made you to be, why he gave you these talents, these desires, and then living in that purpose. Yes. And yes. so by giving up Christ, you're giving up the purpose for which you've been created yeah. uh, and the way you can live life to the full, as yes. Jesus says in John 10. So you're giving up the afterlife okay. and you're giving up this life. Um, I just wanted to let you know these two men are extremely humble and behind the scenes they have impacted so many people. Um, if you read uh, my book, Lee is the one who did the foreword and Mark is the one who basically twisted my arm and made me write it. Um, he, he called me up one day and he said, Nabil, if you don't write this testimony, you're being a bad steward over it. Like, okay, I'll write it. Um, <laughs> I did that. You did do that. And that's why there's a book today. Uh, so I'm really thankful for you guys. I, I just... I love you guys, and I owe you so much. I'm just, I'm honored that you even had me here. 